Pam here. So today we're going to take you through our home, um, some of our furniture. We have a lot of IKEA furniture, which um, people say is, you know, it's it's very popular, but some people say the quality isn't there. Um, for us, we, you know, everyone prioritizes what they spend their hard-earned money on, and for us, we like to travel um, and go on trips, so we try to. Um, save money by not spending a whole lot on our furnishings. Um, we try to pick IKEA furniture that is hardwood um, and there are obviously some choices that are more durable than others and, um, and so we like the style. It works for our family. We have dogs, we have kids. We don't want to um, buy something and worry about it. So the slip covered couches are great. We have all of our couches. We can throw the slip cover in the wash and our furniture has held up really well. Um, and it's a nice way of um, decorating and furnishing without worrying about really breaking the bank. So that's kind of where we're at with our furniture. And I know that it's hard when you're in the store to kind of picture how something's gonna look in your house. So we figured we'd take you through our house because it's very Ikea heavy. And you can see kind of how we've furnished our house um, using their furniture. So, um, yeah, hope you that enjoy. Yeah, I try to use as many names as I could and I apologize some of the stuff is a little older. A lot of it is new. Newer. I don't think, um, and some of it, I don't even think they they have an Ikea anymore. It's they have a few, like some of the pictures, pictures and maybe yeah. some of the decorative stuff, but the furniture they still have. I went online and checked it. Um, a lot of the lighting fixtures they still have, but you're right, some of the Picture. some of the pictures and the knickknacks may not be offered, or some of the seasonal stuff. There's a couple things like that. So I try to give you as many names as I could so you can look it up. Uh, a couple prices, but it's really easy to look up. Um, I try to spell things too, so maybe. Um, you could type them in to the search in Ikea's um, box and see what they're like. Durability's been great. I was honest about that. Um, and assembly hasn't been that bad, but I can't speak to that. Yeah, I did it all. Did it all. It's pretty easy. To me, it's easy. Piece of cake. Just follow directions. Um, yeah. They're all pictures, but for I've never really had any problems. I've only well one problem. I had a a sighting for a end table for the pullout um, drawer, it was shorter. Mm. So we had to, we called them up and told them what the problem was and they sent us another side of the drawer. So we, we were able to, um, you know, put it back together mm -hmm. correctly. But other than that, I mean, every time everything's been there, not missing a piece. Um, as long as you follow the directions, you're, everything's gonna come out okay. I haven't, mm -hmm. I, like I said, I've never had a problem. And people complain about, I think the pictures I and you've never I mean we're not contractors we'll be honest about that I mean we're not incapable but uh, at the same time we've never I don't think you've ever really complained some things are more tedious than others we have a picture a light fixture we haven't put up yet because they're little papers that you have to attach and that's not necessarily hard it's just time consuming um, so sometimes it is but I would say overall you've never complained about assembling anything and I actually assemble the bar stools and I know I can't assemble a thing so that says a lot. So, anyways, I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, you can comment below. And um, I hope you enjoy. Bye. Bye. Oh, subscribe, please. Okay, so in the entrance of my house, we have this picture. This is all these items are from IKEA, as we said in our intro. I will try to give you the names. I have the names of a lot of these items, but not all of them. So, I don't have the name of the picture. Um, the lantern, I don't. Um, we have a clock that has fallen a few times, um, so it has a pretty bad dent in it, actually. <laughs> well, it's pretty, but it fell a few times. Um, so this hook um, actually came with papers. You could put papers in here. They slide out, so you could put like people's names on them, like your kids. This came not painted black. If you go on their website, they still have this. Um, I apologize, I didn't get the name of it, but it comes like in a pine color, and I wanted it to be black just to kind of fit our um, our decor. So these frames are $9.99, I believe. They're made in Poland. I get these at Ikea as well, and they're like a plexi, like a plexiglass, so it's not real glass if it falls. So I love these. I have several of them you're gonna see. There's a couple right here. Okay, so front room. This table and the coffee table, which is right there, those are Malmsta, M-A-L-M-S-T-A. They were a little bit on the pricier side, but they are solid wood and glass. So um, I felt like they were, they're holding up really well. Um, the lamps are kind of separate. You buy the, the base um, and then you buy the shade. The shade is, um, 
what is the shade? Nymo, N-Y-M-O. And what I like about the base, I don't have the name of the base, but it's a fabric coating on the, on the um, cord. I really like that. Um, so this is another um, in the same series as the end table, which I already gave the name. So this couch is an Ektorp couch. Um, we actually have, when we bought this couch, we got a different color. We got a gray cover. We just went and bought um, a white cover. So we've had this couch for, I don't know how many years. They still sell it because it's very popular. Um, we have another one downstairs. It was like a big set we bought. Nine years old. Nine year, maybe nine years old. But it looks brand new because the slip covers, we just changed out the slip covers. So we got, it's like we got a new couch. Um, what I love about this is I can take everything off and throw it all in the wash and it comes out brand new. The throw pillows are all from Ikea. I will be honest, the, the inserts are only like $3. I would buy two inserts. If you notice, these are really sloppy looking. And the middle one is nice and puffy and like taut. And that's because I actually bought two of the inserts for this like 16, I think it's 16 by 26. Yeah, the middle one, that's a navy. Um, I'm gonna, when I go back to Ikea, I'm gonna buy extra, like one extra insert. And it's only $3 per insert. So I think that if you're gonna go this route, make sure you buy two inserts for the pillowcases. But this is really nice. It's like a Chanel, it's super soft. And I threw them all in the wash. Um, our other couch is also Ikea. This one is Stocksund, S-T-O-C-K-S-U-N-D. And I got the, I think it's Lungeon Blue is how I pronounce it. So this blue slip cover actually comes off and we've washed it and it's, it doesn't even require a lot of drying. It's a, it's like a velvety material, but once it comes out of the wash, it's pretty dry. I think I hung it outside for like 20 minutes and or threw it in the dryer for like five and it was well you know it was dry enough to go on you can get um if you look at the bottom so you can get um black legs on this couch or like a what is it it's like a almost a maple color a pine color i don't remember it's like a light color yeah this couch comes in a lot of different colors if you go online you'll see different variances we just like the blue because we thought it was different all these slip all these pillows are also from ikea except for the one my dog is laying on it's the um it's a feather coral pillow, but the, the other ones are all from Ikea. Again, I, I think another insert would be helpful. Curtains, I got those on sale at Ikea for 19. Um, probably would have bought something different, but these were like both of them together only cost me $19. So um, what you'll notice about Ikea curtains though is they don't have a length. So you may wanna hem them. I didn't for these, but um, I probably should have. Um, you know it's up to you the plant is from ikea and we're killing it so like really killing it um it's sad right now but the i like the the base is it a pot what would you call it <laughs> plant pot um the name of the pant plot plant pl i'll say that four times fast um is a muscat pot it's m-u-s-k-o-t um, baskets underneath this bench are Besta baskets for storage. They're about 15, I think for two. One's on the side right now, one's straightforward. Um, this bench I bought at Ikea, it's a solid pine bench and I painted it black. I don't have the name on that. All right, so this is another um, picture I got from Ikea. I would like to do something like for size, but I don't have anything next to it. Um, it is bigger than the one by the front door. So we have this really big wall that was just, it had a nice light above it. And we picked this one just to pull out some of the blue in the room. Okay, so here's my office space. Now this like picture collage I did get Ikea on sale. I think it was like $20 for all of these in one package. They had a ton of them where I was. Um, and then we have um, the lamp is um, an office lamp from Ikea. The candles actually Ikea, the chairs Ikea, and the desk. Um, we have several of these desks actually, and I really like them because the drawers just come out really easily and um, work really well. So the furniture in here, I have a nightstand. These are all Hemnes. So we have a nightstand and one on the other side. I also have the Hemnes brown dresser. Um, You'll see a couple of these dressers in other bedrooms as well, and they're solid pine. So um, I like solid wood. If I can get solid wood for like 200 bucks, I think this was two, you know, all the Hemna stuff is for dressers, depending on the size, is anywhere between two and 250. I can't remember, I think this might have been 225. Um, but seeing, seeing that it's solid wood, seeing that it slides out, 
it works really well my girls stepped inside of one of their drawers and broke the bottom um and i um i called ikea and they actually sent me like an, uh, the parts i needed to you know, the side of the drawer the bottom of the drawer um, and so that was awesome. I will say the bottom of the drawer is not solid wood. The sides are, the front is, like the whole like bones of it. The back and the bottom of the drawers are kind of like a, it's not cardboard, what is it? It's not MDF, it's just like a fiberboard kind of a thing, which works fine in a drawer, unless of course your children decide to step in it and then it doesn't work fine. Okay, so now I'm in one of um, my kids' rooms. Um, I'm gonna start right here with the window coverings. Um, I didn't get the name of these. These are um, kind of cell, what are they called? Cellulose. They're nice. They they kind of go up and go down through this little hook here. Um, so those were only I want to say twenty four dollars for each for that size. They do go down in price, and they're obviously if you get a wider one, they're gonna be more expensive. Super easy to install, and they don't have the cords, so they're safe for for kids. Um, we have this light. My only pet peeve is you buy the shade and the cord separately, and we bought the wrong cord, so you have to actually unplug it from the wall. I think that's something that we're going to be um, fixing and going back and getting a, a better cord that has an actual switch in it so that she can um, maybe use it to read. Um, this is the Crux. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. This is the Napa, K-N-A-P-P-A -P -P -A lamp. Um, the crux lamp is actually this little giraffe she loves giraffes so that one is um called nap uh, crux k-r-u-x and they have a white too i believe um this is a loft bed and it's got the built-in dusk there are different combinations for this um pick this one with a kind of like a wardrobe on the side that's open so all the princess outfits are in here which i find nice and easy to stay organized and we have some shelves sorry this thing is really big and it's actually quite tall so she can't really sit up in it um, and if you were to climb up um, I have to remind her to um, to not like try to stand or or do that because she can bump her head um, but she yeah she can sit up she can sit up I should say but she can't stand and if I go on it I can't sit up um, the reason why we picked it is because she has a fairly small room and this is um it's pretty sturdy I mean I it's heavy it's not solid wood it's made out of like a um, particle board MDF but it's super super heavy I will say that I'm not a fan of MDF but MDF that IKEA uses is pretty strict in their emissions this was per, this was manufactured I believe in Poland we try to buy things that are um, made in the US, but um, Ikea does have pretty strict standards. And nothing has ever had an odor, and I'm really picky about that. So um, it worked well. <laughs> My basket. So I wanted to have a place for her to put her remotes for her television. She's able to watch one show before bed, and then she likes to have like white noise. So she does like um, waves, ocean waves, um, to go to sleep to. So this basket, I tried, I got it from Target, and it was a big deal. I tried to stick it on and it wouldn't work with like command strips. So I put duct tape on the basket first and then the command strips are totally sticking. So she's able to put a book in there. She's able to put her, her controller, her Apple controller and such. Um, the TV is obviously not from Ikea, but if you see the plastic line that's running down, that's actually a plastic cover for cords. I had to buy two of them. They were super cheap. I want to say, ooh, I'm going to ask Joe what they were um, when I see him. Um, but they were not expensive. I want to say they were like five bucks. I'm going to ask. But it covers the cords. It has like little clips. It has little clips in the um, in the plastic so that you can tuck the cords in. And I made the shelf myself. I just went to Home Depot, got wood, cut it, painted it. And I wanted to make it myself because I needed to make an outlet, like a, a cut mark right there for the cords because I couldn't put it through. And yeah. So that is Ikea. Another item that's Ikea in here is our daisy lamp. I don't believe they have the daisy anymore. There was controversy with these because some kids I think got strangled with the cord. But um, yeah, I have it mounted and it's not by any sleeping areas. I don't think I would put this above a crib or anything like that. And um, my kids are older, but even so, I, I would probably keep this on the side of the room where they can't really get a hold of it. This is an Ikea dresser, it's the same as mine. It's a Hemnes. I did paint the knobs pink at the time. 
It comes in white. It also comes with some fun colors. I think they have a yellow now and a, and a red, um, but that's Ikea. The picture is not, um, so. All right. Um, all right. So this room has quite a bit of Ikea. This storage unit um, is the Kale, K-A-L-L-A-Y. It comes in a lot of different colors. You can put it upright or sideways, you know, horizontal or um, a vertical. So I did this direction so it could hold a television. I also have the baskets, which are really cheap. I think they're $3.99. Those are Drona, D-R-O-N-A. Um, and those are really useful for around the, the house. Um, the bed, it's hard to see the bed because we have a lot of pillows on it. It is a Hemnes bed, it's solid wood. It has slats, so you only need a mattress and it's got um, slats in the back, if you can see that. The pillowcases, the white ones are also from Ikea. They are um, 26, 26 by 20 um, as a backrest kind of a thing. The um, side table is also Hemnes and her dresser is Hemnes. Um, the light is um, also Ikea. It is white with gold inside. It's hard to tell here, but it's it's really, it, it creates a really nice glow, especially at night. Um, the light is Nymo, N-Y-M-O, and that is the same as the front room ones that I showed you that were blue and gold. The star is also Ikea, but that's a holiday piece for the holiday, and I just thought it would work really well as a nightlight in here, and it's paper. Hoping it holds up till next Christmas. I'm hoping they have those next Christmas. All right, desk is also Ikea, and the chair, she is growing out of this, but um, it's a nice little combination. The desk was very inexpensive, but it's held up. As long as you don't put a lot of water, like cups of water spill, because it's kind of got a, it's kind of a, um, like an MDF, but covered with this, so you want to make sure you don't get it too wet. I mean, I'm sure it would seep underneath, but so far, so good. I mean, these are kids, so I've taken a magic eraser to this thing, and it's, it's held up for years. We've had this desk for probably five years. Um, the cloud is also I can't I can't remember the name of it. Uh, all these wall um, lights like this one and the Daisy, those are all IKEA, but they all have different names. But they are in the kids' lighting section. I made the shelf, and but this little guy right here, he's a nightlight from IKEA. Um, drapes are just white drapes I got there too, and obviously the same window coverings as the last room. I do have a funny hack on this room. Um, so the picture frame right here is Ikea. And one thing that's kind of funny is this is actually Ikea wrapping paper. I, I really needed another piece on the wall. I think this was from our last house. And I just put wrapping paper because I thought the wrapping paper was quite interesting. Not every day do you see like, you know, ice cream being eaten by an animal. So anyways, that was just something kind of goofy that I did. Um, there and then this um, unit right here is kind of like a nice place for brushing hair in the morning and it's yellow it's from Ikea they do have this in white I got it in yellow because the yellow was on sale that's purely the only reason and I had a little bit of yellow in here I thought I could justify should I've gotten white uh, maybe but um, it's done so all right so to the outside when I said I had a lot of Ikea furniture, you guys, I wasn't kidding. So this is Ikea. The outside furniture is a Plaro, A-P-P-L-A-R-O. I don't think they have it now, but they had the same set two years in a row. You do have to buy this chaise cushion separately. So it's, it's really nice without it looking, but it's not comfortable. You have to get the chaise covering. They do have a pillow. I'm mad at myself for not getting the pillow. Um, and then they had, I, we bought this table and chairs um, outside furniture is particularly expensive and we really wanted we were on a budget so this worked out great we did not have a set last year and this fit into our budget do I think it's gonna hold up for 20 years probably not it's splitting in a couple spots but we plan on staining it every year or every other year and you know storing it in the winter I think we'll get enough use out of it to justify the price it was um, you know I was looking at sets and they were hundreds and hundreds of dollars I think this set, including all the chairs, the table, the chaise, the cover, the little end table, was like under maybe $500 for everything. But when you look online, even Home Depot, I was like shocked with how expensive it all is. Um, and we didn't have one last year. And this year I was like, well, we're going to be paying for a table. This flap comes out so you can actually see, we have a family of six. We have plenty of room. We could probably see eight. I only have six chairs, so uh, maybe next year I'll buy a couple extra chairs. 
when we start, you know, having, we just moved, so we don't have a whole lot of friends here. So let's, maybe we'll be able to add to that. So that is the outside of my deck with all my Ikea stuff. Not a whole lot in the kitchen, but I will say my bar stools are Ikea. And I was able to ship these to my house for $9. So um, took advantage of that. And now we're in an area of our house which isn't as neat. This is, this is the area where my, my boys who are in college stay. This is one of my son's beds, and I don't remember the name of this bed. It has a drawer that can come out. I think that's actually a Hemna's drawer that I used because this one didn't come with a drawer, but it fits fine. Um, so it's a white bed. All the bedding is Ikea. Drapes are actually, um, what is it called, Joey? Light blocking? Blackout drapes? Blackout. Blackout drapes from Ikea. I think the price on these... $39, 49, 49, 49, which is kind of expensive, but my boys live down here when they're home and I needed something that would block out the sun. Again, Ikea does not have length sizes, so you have to be okay with either hemming or living with them. We put them as close as we could to the ceiling. Um, the bracket is from Ikea. It's just a stainless looking um, bracket, which I think worked out well. Apologize for the holes. We had to take down this really groovy one to put this one up. But I like that it's light blocking because um, when they're home, they're tired and they can block out the sun. Picture, this is Ikea. I'm not sure if they have this one anymore, but they have, do have some very large pictures. Um, this one's made in France, I believe, and most of them are. And they are nice if you have a really big wall um, and need to kind of put something in there. The bed is Ikea, but it's like a $30 frame. If you need like an extra bed, this is great. Um, I painted it white. I think it came it came as a um, pine, just raw mm. pine. Um, so that is that. Desk over there and lamp. Those are Ikea. That's an office chair. Um, don't have the name of it. I apologize. It's a black office chair. All the frames up here are the same frames as upstairs, but in a more of a silver. Oh, not that one. I'm sorry. The one here, the one here, these are Ikea. Ikea desk lamp. And this is the office chair that is from Ikea. Um, this is an Ektorp couch. And yeah, same as upstairs, but a different colored cover. I've washed this cover probably a dozen times. Um, and the pillows are also from Ikea. And this is, the other couch was down here with the same cover on, but I switched it because I wanted the white, I wanted a white couch upstairs. So I was able to get a new cover. It feels like I have a new couch. Um, the little table in the middle, that is a, I think it's the PAX. No, L I'm sorry, Lark. I, I left my paper. Oh, I crumpled up my paper because I thought I was done. Hang on. Um, <laughs> lack. It's lack. Okay. It is a lack table. These are like, honestly, between, I think the end tables are like $9. This one's a little bit more, but it's really not bad. It's pretty cheap. It's more of a particle board, but it works well for a coffee table when you have teenagers and 20-year-olds putting their drinks and their food on it and you don't want to get them ruined. It does the job and it looks clean. Um, that is a um, Hemnes TV stand. Um, it was in our old house kind of matching some of the other stuff, but um, it works well down here with more of that white beach theme. The floor lamp right here, um, I apologize, I did not get the name of this either, but this is, if you look at floor lamps at Ikea, you will find this. Um, it's just kind of an industrial lamp. It puts out a lot of light. Good for reading like at the end of a, a couch. Um, and then these racks are kind of invaluable to us because we have people that come and stay and we don't have a lot of closet space. I have one here and, and there are a couple here just for extra clothing um, for hanging. So that works well. You'll notice I have another one of those um, organized like uh, what we had in one of the bedrooms upstairs in black with the boxes um, that you can use as well. Hi everybody, I don't have my, we did get a new mic. Um, if you notice the last video probably sounds better, but um, I just kind of grabbed this because I didn't do an outro with the last video of our Ikea home. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, if you've never shopped at Ikea, I think it's a good store. I, we found some really great deals there um, for our family. So I'm gonna link the Ikea main website below if you wanna check it out. Um, and it's worth a day trip. Just make sure you have enough room in your car. We sometimes get ahead of ourselves when we buy stuff and then we're trying to fit it in. But I will say, last trip I got um, a whole loft set and um, a, another um, full size bed and a mattress. The mattresses are rolled up into like almost like a sleeping bag size. So you'd be shocked at what you can fit because the whole idea of IKEA having good prices 
is that you assemble everything. So um, boxes are like, I mean, the loft bed came in boxes about that thick, super long. So the length, you can't really get away with, um, you have to have a long enough vehicle, but, um, and they usually provide string. It's not very heavy duty, but there's string at, um, when you go to Ikea that you can tie things down. Um, but I would definitely make sure that you go with a vehicle big enough if you're going to be getting bigger pieces, but everything is packed really well in boxes and, um, shipping from the, on the website can be a little tricky. I've had some things come damaged, but they've always replaced them really well. Um, getting through to them on the phone can be a challenge because they're really busy. I would suggest calling early morning or later in the evening whenever they're ready, ready to close their um, phone system. If you're going to call in the middle of the day, you're going to be on hold for quite a while. I usually clean my bathroom when I'm on hold with Ikea and about a half hour later somebody answers. Um, but they've always taken care of any issue I've had. Just keep your receipts if you shop in the store. Um, if you keep your receipts, you can return things that are even open if they didn't work. So they have a good return policy there. Um, but definitely worth the trip. I drive about three hours to go to ours, but we make sure when we go, we're getting things that we need and we get a, you know everything at once. We write a list, we go on the website. We're pretty much good to go when we get there. Um, it can get overwhelming. They do have babysitting there, like a kid's area while you're shopping. I've never used it because we try to go without the kids most of the time. And when we have gone with the kids, we've been okay. They have carts and we put them in the cart. Um, another thing to consider is they do have food there. And I know we went one day where you, if you spent a hundred dollars minimum, your food was free. And my son and I got like everything. We got a salad, we got a meal, we got dessert, we got drinks, we got a package of cookies and you keep that receipt. And when you go to pay for your items, they would take that off the bill. I'm not sure when they do that. Like we showed up on a day when they were, and I'm not, I didn't know that going into it. So they don't do that all the time but it's awesome that they did it. I went, last time I went, I got a kid's meal for like $2.99 and it was meatballs and Ikea Swedish meatballs are really good. Meatballs, mashed potatoes, vegetable, and it was honestly $2.99. So plan on having lunch there. It's not the best thing you're gonna eat, but it's not bad at all. So um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed our video. Please subscribe, um, be our guest and subscribe. No one, it's a little slow going on our end. We have a few subscribers and we figure that, but. Um, if you're liking our stuff, um, we're getting better. We were a little rough in the beginning, but we're trying to, you know, um, get the momentum and, and try to bring you some interesting things that we think people could use. So have a great day. Thanks. Bye.